Hello guys and gals, and this is a movie review for Doom, and this is the um, unrated edition, I believe. Let me zoom in a little bit and see. Yeah, um, unrated. And I borrowed this movie from the library, and I've long since returned it. I'm a little bit late making this review. But anyways, this is basically the first Doom movie, and you sometimes... Uh, movies based off of video games don't really do too well. Um, if I remember right, um, I personally really liked the uh, World of Warcraft movie, but it didn't really go over really well. And I really wish they'd make another one because I used to play that, um, you know, all the time. The uh, World of Warcraft, you know, MMORPG. Um, also, X vs. Severs was another example of a movie that didn't quite live up to expectations. Basically, it was a movie based off of a video game. Um... And um, there are really very few movie, video game based movies that were that really have succeeded real, very well. But this movie I actually really liked. I don't know if it's a popular opinion or not, but um, this features um, The Rock, of course, and um, Carl Urban, and um, well, those are the two main people, anyways. And it is more based off of, I would say it's more based off of the third Doom game because uh, basically, well, I never actually played the third Doom game and so I didn't really know much about the Doom 3 except through the special features of the DVD. Now, um, apparently in that one it's more like a puzzle game and you're not really mobbed by demons all the time like you are in the first two Doom movie, uh, the first two Doom games, um, and maybe some of the later ones too. Um, again, I haven't really played very many of the Doom games. I had the full version of the first one, I believe. I played all through the Doom, the second Doom game. Um, and then I didn't really play any of the Doom games until like Doom Ultimate or Ultimate Doom. And um, I only bought that one recently actually, and I have been playing through that on my uh, channel, but I've fallen kind of behind on that. It isn't one of the regular series that I do, basically, because I've been doing it without cheat codes, and it's been brutal. But anyways, um, this movie was actually really, really good, I thought. Um, it was well thought out, and um, I thought that they did a really good job. Um, I don't remember exactly who published this. Um, if it was Lionsgate or um, Columbia. It's been basically too long. But... Um, I really found it to be really, really well done. The special effects were well done. Uh, the pacing was really good as, as well. Um, I did check, and the movie isn't canon. So, I mean, it would make sense if the Doom, if the Doom Slayer was, you know, the character in this movie, because that would make a lot of sense, you know. But none of the Doom movies are actually canon, apparently. So, um, yeah. Um, but anyways, also Doom Eternal, I believe it is. That's the newest Doom game really added to, um, the Doom Slayer's lore. Doom Slayer being, you know, Doom Guy. And, um, there are lots of theories about, you know, who Doom Guy really is. And some people say that he is, um, BJ Blatz, Blaskerwitz from Wolfenstein. But I'm not sure. Again, that's just speculation. Um, but they look the same, you know, but then again, everybody knows that basically Wolfenstein 3D came first and then Doom came along and they said, oh, hey, Wolfenstein's doing real well. Let's, you know, make a game like that. Um, there are other variants of um, Doom that take place in different like time er time periods. Um, there is, um, of course, Doom. Uh, and then, of course, there's also Wolfenstein 3D. Then um, there's also Hexen which takes place in medieval times, and um, Heretic, and that also takes place in medieval times, using medi medieval weapons like crossbows and um, stuff like that. Hexen was pretty cool in that um, you could use, um, if you were the mage, there was actually three classes. If you were the mage, you could use magic. Um, if you were the paladin, you could use a variety of weapons, and if you were the cleric, then, you know, you got weapons that would, like, actually life drain and stuff like that. Um, I really like that, that franchise. Anyways, the movie itself, though, was really, really well. I thought all the parts were really well acted. 
um, the script was well written as well. There was humor where there needed to be humor, and um, there's some plot twists that were really, really interesting. I Overall, I really enjoyed this movie, um, and I believe they've made, I want to say, th two other movies, Doom movies, because I know there's Doom Annihilation, and um, I don't know. Uh, I'm probably wrong. I really didn't do any research on this, but anyways, I just really enjoyed this movie, and I look forward to seeing, you know, the other Doom movies to see how they, um, how they pan out. Um, but yeah, it exceeded my expectations. So anyways, um, if you like Doom, then you'll probably like this movie too, because I found it f fascinating. Um, and so yeah, um, but then again, that's just my opinion, and you can either take my opinion or leave it, either way is fine. And if you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe, ring the bell so you know when I upload. Also, want to support me in any way, if you want to join the Discord server, all information will be in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching everyone, and have a great day.